Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to work we go. <laughs> Welcome to Utopia Farms. <laughs> Let's uh, head inside and see what's going on today. Maybe first we'll go have a look at the rams. Well, they need you Hi, Geronimo. Hi, buddy. Oh, he did for lambs. He did. He had uh, him and uh, Handsome, I thought, had the nicest lambs this year. Hi, buddies. Are you coming over? Yeah, oh, yeah. Scotty. What are you doing? You with the rams? He's always with the rams. Oh, that's... um. The little guy here, that's... Um, the British guy. Uh, Hannibal, right? Yeah. How you doing, buddy? I don't know what he did for us. We'll see. Well, we put him mainly with crosses, but he, he produced those nice Texel crosses. Oh, Hi, wait, buddy. Which one's a stone hill band? This one or that one? Uh, I have to get close to look at them. This can... this is um this is uh, gladiator. Hey, buddy, come on over. Ferdinand! 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 You are so stylish. You're styling. <laughs> Somebody asked uh, if we had any uh, rams from the last crop out of Ferdinand. You're so nice. That's why. You got a beautiful face. a long body, but see the head long. Anyways, Aren't you going to come up? Come here. There you go, honey. Oh, Herman, it looks like you are uh, got a little bit of a limp there. Got to trim you up. Oh, they got to be trimmed really bad. we got to spend an afternoon on this. Yeah. Ferdinand, could could you get any handsomer? He's any more handsome? The dorset head. The woolly head. <laughs> this guy might have a limp right there. Yeah, they have to be trimmed up. Hey, buddy. Oh, Ferdy. I gotta say, nobody has a do like you. Nobody. Nobody. Now he's a different type. Well, Look at Scotty. Okay, Arnie said, before I mix milk, I gotta go in and he'll tell me what happened. That's usually not a bad, a good thing. Hi guys, how you doing? How y'all doing? Hi, hi. Hi. Hi guys. Oh, hi, I can hear your little voice. Hi. Hi. So apparently all Ernie wanted was to tell me that he fed some lambs. So we're in the coveralls now. Katie's here making sure everything goes smoothly as usual. Katie's in the creep pen. The lambs are kind of wondering what that's all about. And Katie's not sure how she's going to come out and get by them all. What a 
as usual, she's very popular. Because she walks in among the sheep quietly. Whereas the other two are kind of running around barking and causing havoc. And the sheep don't like that, of course. Katie, you can come out, you know. There you go. Nice and quiet. A lamb cluster soaking up the little tiny sunbeam. Always one has to come and ruin it for everyone. Oh, we all know it. Stretch means feeling good, feeling healthy, plenty of food. Doing straw today, that's hunchy. And this afternoon, another load is coming over to the coveralls. And that'll fill another quarter. I think you may need help. Oh, they seem to be moving okay. says he's getting tired. <laughs> yeah, if Katie knows she's on camera, she runs away. It's really weird. She's totally camera shy. Not like Ernie. He loves it. It'll be nice to have summer and dry weather here. Then uh, we won't be doing this half as much as you do it at this time of year. How was thinking? Oh, really? <laughs> that nasty little joke I did yesterday. Why don't you tell a Dutch joke since you're Dutch? Okay. And what do Dutch people and computers have in common? You gotta punch the information into both of them. <laughs> Are the lambs laughing? I one of that. Are the lambs laughing? They're laughing. Why do Dutch people? Why do Dutch people wear wooden shoes? To keep the woodpeckers off their heads. But they wear shoes on their feet. Their heads are wooden then. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> really? I like the one about the copper penny the best. The what? The penny the best. Dutch people in a finding a oh. copper penny or something. Oh. How does that go? I don't know, you had So the <laughs> So the Dutch people were the ones that invented the uh, <laughs> copper wire. There was two Dutch people fighting over a penny. But better yet. That's the best one because if you live with a Dutch person, you realize how true that is. Now, but, I'm sure all the Dutch people in the world are not like that. <laughs> but better yet, what, what do, uh, so, what, what's, uh, I'm not going to use the right word. But the whole moral, the point of a football game with a Dutch person is how to get the quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know we have Dutch followers, but Arnie is Dutch, so Dutch of, cor of course it is a joke. That's Dutch right. Dutch people have a sense of humor, then. 
That's why we're in Canada. <laughs> yeah. You have to have a sense of humor to choose to live here. So I, I actually, I actually do think that's true. What? Once you get to the point where you can punch, get something in a Dutch person's head, it's really hard to get it out or change it. Like it's in there embedded in forever. So it's really hard to get it in there. But then you might as well give up. You're not going to change it. And Dutch people are like that. Stubborn. Okay, we managed to fool number two with a bale of straw and we caught him. The big guy. Number two, you're such a big lad. We need the scales to weigh this guy. He's got to be heavy and he's not, uh, what do we say he's, what's the date today? It's March. Sheep are a lot February. more happier. He's around 70 days I'm guessing now. Sheep are a lot more happier and are at the same level. That's not hard, Ernie. Not with with some people. <laughs> hey, what are you doing, me, guy? Hmm? What are you doing? I'm going to stop for a second and take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Number two. We said number two's from who? Felon? I think he's a felon ram. Yeah, he's really Britishy style. We just saw his mom. She escaped into the creek area when Arnie was bringing the bail through. And she's a wide view, but she's definitely not British looking and neither his dad, well, his dad does have a lot of British in him. Ooh. It looks like his little hooves need trimming already at the back. Come on, buddy. You have a good bite? Oh, right on the money. <laughs> Ben, it's not about you, You're so pretty. Get off of his nuts. Oh, that's a breeding ram. Hey, buddy, you're really mm -hmm. nice. How's your wool? Oh, really white? Really white? Very, very pretty boy. Yeah, you're very pretty. Yeah. Yeah, you are. Hey, you're a little British guy. <laughs> Somebody's lost somebody or wants their lamb to come nurse. It's the, it's the comfort you. <laughs> oh, she's oh, oh, she's cut. Well, that lamb ran. But, don't uh, I don't know, but she screamed and, and finally her lamb came over. <laughs> but it got the other lamb going and ran, it ran to its mom too. <laughs> All for two seconds. Really? Did that help? Hey, what are you doing there? Oh, the black sheep in the family's over there. What are you doing there, <laughs> The late to sun, eh? I left that down all night actually. I could lower it down more to get more sun. We just let the curtain down a little bit. Let the air flow through. Oh, that's my ram and he missed him. He's one of my favorites. This is the group we're moving over this afternoon. We're just waiting for the trailer to get here. The mums are all at the other side of the gate.
Stay here, Katie. We'll be offloading again one dorset into this group because we only have a few dorsets left lambing so she's going to come in here with her lamb and then we're going to head to the other coverall where we're going to offload the group of Suffolk. So the ewe's in, we just have to grab her lamb. Join the crew. Big pen she's going into. She's got to find her mommy. This is the mom who rejected her lamb last year. That's no, that's not her mom. Mom went right to the back, so we're trying to get the lamb close to her so she'll notice it. The ones going in the groups last have the hardest time because there's so many. There, she's got her. They'll stay together. Come the girls. today. Hope you'll join us again tomorrow for the next episode at Utopia Farms. Bye for now.